Hi YouTube friends, it's Omega and I came on today to share two cards with you that I made. Actually this one was supposed to be a tutorial. I went to film it and I thought I was filming but evidently I wasn't filming so the tutorial did not film at all. It did not record. So I'm going to go through with you pretty much what I did to make the cards and um, <laughs> figure out what I did. But um, this first card here is a graduation card that I made for my sister-in-law who's graduating with her master's in nursing and I just wanted to celebrate with her and of course make a graduation card for her. So I'll show you the items that I used, um, the stamps that I used. On the outside here I use this stamp set, which is called Pure Gumption. I used a little cap, graduation cap, and the sentiment says dedication, fortitude, and pure gumption. I like that, and this is great sentiments for uh, graduates. The number on this stamp set is 126317. And the inside of the card, of course, pops up. And on the inside, I used a different stamp set. This one is called Feel Goods. And the sentiment that I used here is this one here. She believes she could, so she did. Another great saying, I think, for graduates. This stamp set number is 129684. And now this, uh, this card here, of course, was done on my Big Shot, and I'll show you those items as soon as I show you the other card, but I'll show you how I made the card cut out and everything for that one. This card is a birthday card for my niece, whose birthday's coming up, and I made it a little bit different in that I made the card base out of designer paper, and I made the inside out of plain white cardstock. So on the front of this card, I stamped the happy birthday using this stamp set called Perfect Punches. And I used this happy birthday uh, image here. And this is called Perfect Punches because there's a punch that goes with each one of these images. And the punch that I used for this is the 2 inch by 1 and 3 eighths that made a perfect punch for this um, stamped image here. The per perfect punches stamp set number is 120516. And on the inside of this card, as you can see, I used white cardstock. But to me, that makes the dress really stand out a lot more. And the sentiment and the matting that I did there. The stamp set that I used for the inside of this card is called Cross My Heart. And the number on this stamp set is 126582. And it has several cute little crossword type images there. And this one, of course, is saying Happy Birthday to You and a crossword pattern, and the little butterflies. Of course, you know I love butterflies. And so that's that card, and let me show you how I put these together. Now, first of all, the little dress, I used these dress with sleeves. The little dress set here is from All Dressed Up, or I'm sorry, not All Dressed Up, it's just Dressed Up Framelit. And it's three pieces in this set. The little dress form, the dress with sleeves, and the sleeveless dress. Each one very cute. I like the sleeve dress, so I did that one. And you simply use your Big Shot or whatever um, cutter you have that cuts uh, dice, dies. So I use my Big Shot with the multi-purpose platform that comes with the Big Shot. Um, I laid down one of my cutting plates, the die cut side up, 
and my paper and this is just another paper one of the cards made out of that paper and the other cutting pad and you simply run that through your big shot and it comes out with your cut dress now on this card as well as the dress I cut out the dress form so that I would have something in color to back the dress so I did that one using the dress form and my blue island indigo cardstock just cut that out on my big shot and I had that to back the dress on that second card there and to actually make the card itself you do need extended pads the cutting pads and the die that um, makes the card itself is this one here. It's the Big Shot die and you simply put your card stock on and it has to be at least, at very least, 11 inches long but if you have 12 inch paper that's fine too but 11 inches is going to give you exactly end to end the uh, um, length that you need and I used five inch wide just so it would overlap there and lay flat as I ran it through it simply cut it perfectly while it was still in the die I just marked these two little hash marks there where the fold is and it simply folds in half but that way you have the marking and then to do the dress form you need this die, which you put inside, and the pop-up portion is then cut. So it cuts out the white plus the pop-up, and the best scenario is to have your crease pad so that you have the score marks marked on the card for you as well. Now, I don't have the extended um, crease pad yet, so what I did is cut out the white pop-up card first and then I placed it back on my die and you have to be very precise you can see exactly where to place it but you have to make sure you have it very precisely set on that and then I put my crease pad on and ran it through with my big shot again and it gave me my score marks where to fold for my um, pop-up. I had no problem at all. It worked fine, but you do have to be very careful doing it that way so you don't have double cuts and ruin your um, white inside pop-up card. Okay, and then of course you're going to have two pieces then and you have to of course adhere those together and you want to be very careful with putting those together so that they match exactly you have where the card folds there your um, score marks are folded using the crease pad then you can decorate the bottom here however you'd like and then of course cutting the dress out with the framelit and this one, like I said, I used the blue indigo paper to make the dress form just to lay it on top of that white. And it gave the dress a little better um, background to lay on. And so it pops. And the white, to me, actually helps the color stand out. So I thought that was cute. So that's the inside of the card. And this one, like I said, this one opens a little different. This one I open this way and it pops up. This one opens down and pops up. So you have, you can actually do both. You will be able to close this one down. And the little slits that are made into the card when you cut it out those are automatically going to be there and that's why you do have to be very careful about putting your two pieces together so that those slits are in perfect position to um, tuck your card top in there so I also oh the paper itself here this is Island Indigo cardstock 
and the both of the designer pieces of paper from Sycamore Street designer pack that was in the celebration last month the stamp sets however you can get in the spring catalog and um, I'll put the numbers and the pages and everything that you can find those um, down in the description box down below okay I also on this one I'm gonna think I'm gonna go ahead and put some on the graduation card also but the little necklace there is so adorable but I use the Stampin' Up um, Jewel Basic Pearl and it's nice because it's three different sizes of pearl in here and what I did is use a small here but then there's some teeny weeny ones and I used the small and then the three on either side of that and it made the cutest little necklace so that is a great item to have as well the stamp pad that I used was tempting turquoise and it matches very well with the indigo blue or the island indigo I'm sorry it's called island indigo but this tempting turquoise matched just fine with that and of course I used my snell adhesive to put everything together to mat it to put my little dress form on here to mat my inside pop-up card to the outside card base and and there you have it it was really a very nice cute um, project to work on very easy to do and a lot of fun these little um, framelits you can use with this but you can also use these on just a regular card just think of the Mother's Day cards, birthday cards, and cute little cards you can make for your sisters, your aunts, your mom, your friends. Just any lady or young lady would love to get this card. I think it's adorable. But the little card with the dress form and the dresses, any lady would love to get those. So that's what I have today. And um, you can get any of these products from Stampin' Up! through my website. My website is treasuredexpressions.com. It's treasured-expressions.com. And I will have um, the link to my website down in the description also. On there, you can go to the Stampin' Up! icon, click on it, and you can shop any time of day or night on Stampin' Up! on my Stampin' Up! site to um, check out these products and just I, I just love them I love them they're gonna be a lot of fun I can just see many many Mother's Day cards made out of these framelits and these cards as well but all the information is going to be down below for you so thank you so much for watching and I'll be back again soon talk to you all later bye